The demand to replace outdated tactical transport aircraft is more pressing than ever. The Embraer C-390 Millennium, with its modern technologies and significant improvements, is aiming to seize this opportunity to rise and become the top choice for nations around the world. So how has the C-390 begun to realize this ambition, and why is Embraer so confident it can succeed? Let's find out in today's episode. Over a decade after its inaugural twin-engine flight, this versatile airlifter C-390 Millennium has already taken flight with multiple air forces. To date, Embraer has delivered seven units to Brazil, one to Hungary, and two to Portugal, while contracts have been inked for four aircraft in Austria, two in the Czech Republic, five in the Netherlands, and three in South Korea. Toward the end of the year, Slovakia announced plans to purchase three units, and Sweden has also opted for the C-390, though specific numbers remain undisclosed. Additionally, an unnamed new customer has signed on for two units, bringing the total order count to 42 but the momentum doesn't stop there. Embraer is looking to expand its customer base even further, with plans to secure 10 more orders for both its tactical airlifter, Millennium, and its aerial refueling variant, the KC-390, later this year. With burgeoning market potential in the Middle East and Latin America, it is poised to revolutionize military A transport by offering unparalleled versatility and efficiency. This new era in airlift capability could redefine how modern air forces operate, setting a fresh benchmark in both performance and operational flexibility. The C-390 has had one of the fastest adoption rates, the fastest for this type of aircraft. All of this orders movement is raising the interest even more for the type, says Embraer Defense and Security Chief Commercial Officer Frederico Lemos. We believe that the C-390 speaks for what the market is demanding and is proving that it is going to address all the missions and requirements around the world. He stated that in the Middle East, the millennium holds significant potential, especially since many countries in the region still operate older medium lift transport fleets. According to him, this aircraft could bolster the region's air power for the next 30 to 40 years. These nations are seeking a next-generation platform that not only meets basic requirements, but also can operate alongside the most advanced fighter jets in a network-centric combat environment. He also expressed optimism that positive news from the region would soon emerge. Notably, both Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have long expressed a need to replace their aging Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules transport aircraft. As a result, Millennium may be a reasonable choice. What makes this aircraft so special that its CEO is confident it can replace aging transport planes worldwide? The Embraer C-390. Millennium isn't just another military transport, it's a revolutionary leap forward. But wait, thanks for sticking around until now. Please help us hit 40,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a small click for you, but a giant leap for us to keep bringing you great content. Thanks a ton. Developed by Brazil's leading manufacturer in the early 2010s, the C-390 quickly established itself as Embraer's heaviest and most advanced platform. After its maiden flight in February 20th of 2015, it entered service with the Brazilian Air Force in 2019, setting a bold new standard in military logistics. Firstly, one of the C-390 Millennium's standout features is its remarkable payload capacity. It outclasses legendary aircraft like the Lockheed C-130, which handles 19 metric tons, and the Antonov 178 with a payload of 18 metric tons. Designed to haul both tracked and wheeled vehicles, the Millennium boasts robust tie-down systems that can secure loads of up to 4.5 metric tons and 11.3 metric tons respectively, all while achieving a maximum takeoff weight of 87 metric tons. Powering this beast are two International Aero Engines 5 2500E2 turbofan engines, each generating 31,330 pounds of thrust. This powerful duo propels the aircraft to a maximum speed of 990.15 kilometers, ensuring rapid, efficient missions even in demanding environments. Secondly, another key highlight is its ability to deliver cargo across a wide range of missions. Whether transporting strategic military supplies such as weapons and equipment or delivering humanitarian aid, the aircraft's airdrop capability has been rigorously tested. The Embraer C-390 is equipped with an advanced airdrop system that enables remote automated cargo drops at both low and high altitudes. 
Notably, it can execute low-velocity airdrops using one or more V-type platforms, handling payloads of up to 19 metric tons. In addition, its cargo delivery system supports the delivery of up to 22 pallets and low altitude parachute extraction system operations can manage loads of up to 10 metric tons. Thirdly, the CEO of Embraer Defense and Security, Bosco da Costa Jr. states, it's the only true multi-mission platform. All the C-390s that come out of our production line are capable of all the missions. It means that you don't need to buy one air to do air-to-air -air refueling and then another one to do cargo, for example. Indeed, the Millennium stands out as a highly versatile aircraft capable of handling a range of advanced missions. It is designed not only for advanced cargo handling, but also for aerial refueling at both high and low speeds, as well as ground refueling operations. In addition, it features an effective parachute drop system, supports search and rescue missions, and is equipped for air medical evacuation and airborne firefighting. With its easily reconfigurable design, a single C-390 can be tailored to meet multiple operational needs, allowing air forces to optimize their fleet efficiency. This flexibility means that rather than investing in a large number of aircraft, forces can purchase a smaller fleet supplemented by specialized equipment to perform diverse tasks, from emergency rescue operations and firefighting to complex military deployments. Moreover, its in-flight refueling capability significantly extends its operational range and endurance, enhancing readiness and responsiveness during critical missions. Additionally, military transport aircraft must always be prepared for more demanding tasks, improving mission success while minimizing downtime. They undertake a wide range of duties from search and rescue operations and aerial refueling to transporting troops and weapons, making flexibility a crucial factor. Notably, Embraer states that reconfiguring the Millennium can be done in as little as three hours thanks to its advanced cargo handling system, which includes a software-controlled cargo lock mechanism. This allows for quick, easy, and safe reconfiguration whenever necessary. As a result, air forces can optimize fleet efficiency, ensuring each aircraft is ready for complex missions in modern combat environments. All these attributes make the Millennium not only a modern multi-role platform, but also a strategic asset for both military and humanitarian operations, perfectly suited to meet the demands of today's dynamic operational environments. There's one key factor that enables Embraer to capture market demand. The C-390 was marketed as a jet-powered replacement for the Lockheed C-130. When comparing the Millennium to the Hercules, the C-390 clearly represents a major leap forward in military transport. While the C-130 has long been celebrated since 1956 for its ruggedness and versatility, earning its legendary status among military forces, the C-390 emerges as a formidable challenger with its higher payload and modern technology. For example, even though both aircraft are designed to carry passengers and pallets, the Millennium boasts a payload capacity increase of over 15% compared to Hercules's. This advantage extends to its maximum takeoff weight as well, with the C-390 capable of 87 tons versus the C-130's 70 tons, positioning it as a contemporary and efficient solution for meeting today's demanding military requirements. In terms of performance, the Millennium also outclasses the older Hercules thanks to its superior engineering and technological advancements. With its turbofan engines, the C-390 reaches a cruising speed of 869.40 km per hour and a top speed of 990.15 km per hour, whereas the C-130's four Allison T-56A-15 turboprop engines maintain a similar cruise speed, but cap at 953.12 km per hour. Moreover, the Millennium offers an impressive range, covering 2,710 nautical miles under standard conditions and extending up to 3,370 nautical miles on ferry flights without payload. This extended range was exemplified when a fleet of six Millenniums completed a 1,350 nautical mile. Round trip, transporting 500 tons and 1,000 passengers in under two days, a 40% speed improvement over the Hercules. Additionally, the C-390's twin-engine configuration significantly enhances its maintainability and operational cost-effectiveness compared to the four-engine setup of the C-130. 
Fewer engines mean lower costs for parts and labor and reduced maintenance downtime, which is particularly attractive to military forces facing budget constraints. Embraer asserts that its aircraft offers the most economical life cycle cost in its class, bolstered by innovations such as Collins Aerospace's ProLean Fusion avionics that not only boost performance, but also simplify maintenance procedures, leading to further cost savings. The replacement role of the C-390 is becoming even more evident as more countries adopt it to replace their aging C-130 fleets. In addition to Brazil, nations such as the Netherlands, Morocco, Sweden, Poland, and Austria have also shown interest in the Millennium as an alternative to the Hercules. With a deep understanding of the military transport aircraft market, Embraer has laid out solid plans for the future. Embraer projects that demand a product like the C-390 will reach 490 aircraft over the next 20 years, a market opportunity valued at 60 US billion, not even counting the roughly 260 aging tactical transports, many over 45 years old and nearing retirement, currently in service. The Brazilian manufacturer is aggressively targeting key markets to secure its share of this 60 US billion opportunity and it's ready to ramp up production as orders increase. Although the Brazil manufacturer's largest consolidated export order so far has been a combined deal for the C390s with the Netherlands and Austria, any significant orders could rapidly boost international adoption. The company has also partnered with Mahindra Defense Systems to fulfill the Indian Air Force's need for medium-lift transport aircraft and has reached an agreement with Sami to promote the Millennium in Saudi Arabia. In 2024, Embraer delivered three millenniums with plans to double that number within the year and achieve an annual production rate of 12 units by 2030. At the same time, the company is working to increase interest in its turboprop A29 Super Tucano, having signed five new contracts this year that expand its customer base to 20 countries. Notably, these deals include the first order for the NATO-optimized A29N variant with Portugal purchasing 12 units. Do you think the C-390 Millennium can truly reshape the military transport aircraft market in the coming decades? Can Embraer challenge the C-130 to take its place in replacing aging fleets and filling the military transport market? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you later.